Hey everyone, this is Marianne for the New York City Organization of Public Service Retirees. And this message is for active workers, in-service workers, and their labor leaders, active unions. The New York City Organization of Public Service Retirees is starting a campaign to let union members in the MLC, especially DC 37, of which I am a member, in the MLC, DC 37, UFT and sanitation know that we are against being forced into Medicare Advantage plans. And this is your future. If you're not aware, you better start listening. Union leaders, this part is for you. In your last collective bargaining agreement, you lied to your membership when your contracts were ratified and you did not tell them about the MLC agreement appendix uh, um, that was appendix to your contract, the 2014 or the 2018 MLC agreements. These agreements obligated the unions to healthcare savings without itemizing specifically how it would be done. You generated, quote, savings for your raises by adding co-pays to employees, narrowing their networks of providers, imposing more prior authorizations, and by lowering the HIP rate that would be ensuring members would be paying premium very soon. DC 37 has a tentative agreement right now. And their promotional flyer says that the continuation of premium free health insurance benefits is provided for by the MLC agreement. Which one? The 2018 agreement? The 2014 agreement? Or is it a new agreement that they haven't said anything about? Like what happened in 14, when the teachers had to ratify, had to get a uh, ratification of an agreement with the MLC before the contract was given to the United Federation of Teachers Leader, uh, membership. Is that happening right now? What are they talking about? Do you even know? Because we don't. You should be asking your unions if you're ratifying an agreement with the promise of premium free health care today. What happens if the MLC votes on a contract that initiates premiums? Are you okay with that? What about if it strips away retiree health care like they attempted to do the last time and they're conspiring to do right now? This would diminish a current retiree's health benefits and your future benefits. Even though every time these three guys want to say, no, 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 that's not happening. Don't listen to them. It mirrors senior care. It mirrors what they have. It's a lie. We sued to stop it. And we've been successful 10 times. Trust me when we tell you, this is what they're doing. And they're not being honest with you. They want to paint us out as being anti-labor. No, we are labor. We're retired labor and we're telling you the truth because we wouldn't have had to hire lawyers and raise millions of dollars in order to take the city to court to stop them from doing this because they violated the law and our agreements. We say this to you today because the MLC is holding an emergency meeting on March 2nd to review a contract for the Medicare Advantage plan, a plan that would cover your most vulnerable population, your retirees, senior citizens and the disabled. A plan structure that caused us to sue the city, like I mentioned, because the MLC agreed to force us into this plan or compel us to pay a high premium. Before you ratify your contract, because it looks enticing with a $3,000 sign-on bonus, you should know all your details. Ask questions right now. Demand to see the full contract, not just the promotional flyer that says there's no givebacks, because we're warning you, healthcare is a giveback. And because it's no negotiated on a citywide basis, they're telling you there's no give back. There might not be a give back in your unit agreement, but there's a give back in your citywide agreement. And that give back is our current health care and your future health care. We're begging you to listen. We've been talking about this for two years. Right now, DC 37 workers, this is on you. Please don't ratify this contract unless you've seen the entire agreement. And if it references an appendix or a side letter or a something that you see it and you read it. Otherwise, you're selling us off and you're selling off your future. Henry knows what the deal is. Do you?